Good evening from the offices of Cinecore Worldwide. I'm JC Golden, here to welcome you to the 2012 Marketing Tech Debate. Here tonight we have Google representative Christopher Horton and Apple representative Spencer Plessel. There is a lift on the noise restriction right now as we welcome our speakers. This first question is for you. Excellent. Who will be the first trillion dollar company, Google or Apple? You have a minute to respond. That one's easy, Google. 11 reasons why. Number one, search. With 66% of the search market, they're dominating search. Semantic search makes it even better because that's context-based. Number two, mobile. Operating system, Android operating system dominance. 68% of all smartphones in quarter two, 2012, were shipped using the Android operating system worldwide. Three, social. Google's acquisition this summer of wildfire means enterprise social is the future for Google. Four, video. They own YouTube. Need I say more? Two to three billion views per day. That's billion with a B. Five, browser. Number one, Chrome, number one browser on earth. Six, artificial intelligence. Project X Lab. Look it up. Seven, online ads. Second quarter revenue alone from ads, 2.79 billion. Eight, patents. They practically own the USPTO. Nine, big data, the cloud, Dremel. Check it out. All right, Chris, that's your Wait, I'm not done yet. Ten, passengerless cars. We haven't even started talking about that. I'm sorry, we have to uh, Jerry Brown. And, and what about asteroid mining? I, what, I, I'm sorry. Okay, are you Go finished? ahead. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. Spencer, you have 30 seconds to respond. Thank you, JC. Now, Chris, you brought up a bunch of wonderful points about Google there. Thank you. Now, the question that was posed was, who's going to become the first trillion dollar company? Now, when we look at Apple's market cap, they're at $600 billion. Let's take a look at Google's. Google, there's that $250 billion, all right? Well, I'd, I'd like to question the methodology. Sure, yeah, 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 you've had your turn. Um, so, do you realize that's almost half? So when you're talking about trillion, first one to be a trillion dollar company, what really matters here is user experience. User experience. Great, thank you, Spencer. Now, Spencer, this next question is for you. Who is the real innovator, Google or Apple? And you have a minute to respond. Thank you, JC. Once again, Apple is a real innovator here. If you think about it, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs laid the framework, laid the groundwork for all innovation that is Apple. Yeah, I agree. The user experience of every single device is beyond phenomenal. The technology that goes not into only building, not into only building Apple as a company, but building and creating every single product is far superior to all others. Chinese goods. Apple is the real innovator here. Thank you, Spencer. Chris, you have 30 seconds to respond. I've got two words to that. Asteroid mining. Haven't seen any asteroid mining out of Apple recently or ever. We've got that on the docket here over at uh, Google. In addition, I would say Steve Jobs was a great innovator, folks, but alas, he is no more. And moreover, he was a great innovator at marketing. He was a marketing innovator. He figured out a way to convince people to pay two to three times too much money for mediocre technologies. In fact, they're still lining up at every, uh, every corner uh, strip mall to buy this uh, Apple iPhone 6 or 7 or whatever they're on. There's no innovation anymore, folks. We've got, at Google, there are more innovations than you can count on two fingers. My question for my comrade here is where's the innovation anymore from Apple? Well, I have one simple question for you, Chris. Mm. Have you ever owned an Apple product? Well, I, that's not really material to what we're talking about today. We're talking about these two uh, companies and who's got a tech advantage. Right, I, I believe that. But have you ever owned or turned on an Apple product? Have you ever, have you ever pushed buttons? Oh, 
Well, like, I've had many used... apples, but I've never... You've had many apples. We're not talking about food-based products well, here. If you're We're talking, talking about, about the... No, stuff. Well, I, I, I haven't found a cause to do so. Well then, you must try it out. All right, gentlemen, thank you for a very spirited exchange. This concludes the 2012 marketing debate. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, JC. Thank you, JC. Thanks, Chris. And thank you, Spencer.